<laughs> well, here we are again. Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to another session of Doki Doki Lit Let's Play Doki Doki Literature Club. This is something I didn't pick up on when I saw that Sayori was deleted in the title screen here is that her spot is just filled in by an amalgamation of the other three. It's really weird. Anyway, god, last time, last time was easily the most upset I've been by a game since sometime last year. Around this time, actually. So, god, okay. And the game finally started getting creepy. Let me tell you, I was already interested in it before it got creepy is the interesting thing. A testament to how well this game is written, I would say. Oh, let's see. So, the events of last time, Sayori, unfortunately, took her life, and then the game reset itself. And things got way more intense the first day of poem reading in this version of the events. So, I wonder if we're ever going to get to the festival or if people are just going to keep dying before and sending me back. There's really only three more times that it could happen, unless it's going to straight up kill my player character too. Alright, anyway. Uh, we'll go with Covet. Marshmallow. Uh, I've done this a few too many times to keep track of how many I've switched or part. Melody. Imagination. Melancholy. Time. Waterfall. Judgment. Contamination. Existence. Pure breath cry. Fester. Socks. Music. We'll go with music. Incapable, tenacious whirlwind. Go with inferno, actually. <clears throat> My bad, I've been... I don't know why. Just It's really weird trying to get into the first few minutes of doing this every time, just because for the past two times I've done it now, this game has left me in a daze, basically. So, I'm just gonna keep going, obviously, but I keep trailing off real early in both of the recording sessions I do. Incongruent. Heartbeat. Vibrant. Vanilla, fluffy, starscape, disoriented, effulgent. Misfortune, giggle, raindrops. Comfort, together, alone. Infinite. Unrequited. Actually, we're gonna go with Doki Doki. Oh man. Whew, let's see what they do to us today. I've gotten a little more comfortable over the past couple of days. A uh, couple of days. So this is more than just the... Whatever. Welcome back. Ah, hi, Yuri. Not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Um... She glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk. Surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. Oh, this is a nice new little background shot. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Maybe you should apologize to Natsuki first. Whatever you said to her seemed to hurt her pretty bad. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. 
I wasn't acting mentally sound. Oh. 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 You don't say. Nothing about that last session was mentally sound. The game spent an hour just trying to ruin my perception of reality. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri. I'm happy you were considerate and apologized. We don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just extra sensitive. Well, I said that really loud, I'm sorry. Extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided there's no way you can be a bad person. No way? What if she has like a corpse in her closet or something that she put there herself? I'm not putting anything past this game anymore. I've underestimated this game's ability to escalate quickly, and I'm not doing it anymore. And now that you're apologizing, I know you don't really mean it, or didn't really mean it. Ah. Don't say those kind of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. <clears throat> I'm really glad you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad you joined this club. Everything is a little brighter with you around, and Monica, somewhere. Oh. I figured we were going to get cut off by another person. She's just cutting herself off. Sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah, no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Here I am guessing you haven't either. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. Yeah, that's odd. That's considering what happened and how, in both versions of the event so far, like, I don't know, jazzed up Natsuki gets easily. That is unusual, but good for her for being able to get past that, at least on an exterior level. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. Oh, oh, I don't blame you at all. One second, please, I need a drink. What? Why are you looking at me like that? About yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay on- I did my best to stay under control from now on. So... What the heck are you talking about? Did you... Okay? Eh? Jeez. Okay. Whatever. Some of these are... Oh. I thought there was some kind of code in the... Um... Or I thought there might have been some kind of code in the lack of blackout, but that's just, like, E's and O's and letters with, like, little, almost circles in them, I guess. So, I don't even remember anything bad happening. Hmm. You're the kind of person who worries a little too much about the little things, aren't you? Those don't even... Okay. So, last time when I was seeing those words, it was straight up trying to put some evil juju on me. And those don't seem like straight up evil things, so that has to be some kind of hint about what might be wrong with Natsuki, I would imagine. But, but... I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, I'm... It's kind of nice to hear, since I was afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. Hehehe. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. I don't hate you. Anyway. Well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Let's see if he turns to me. You're still on trial, though. I'll take it if we can all, you know, not kill each other. Please. Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry. Oh, wait, she was late the other time. I forgot. Practicing piano or whatever. I didn't mean to be late. 
I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Oh yeah, the reason I forgot was because this is totally different than what was going on the other time. Because Sayori was masterminding her way to cookie deliciousness. And this is completely different. <laughs> well, not Suki was. I was not. Ah ha ha. What took you so long anyway? Ah. Well, my last period of today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Ah ha ha. That makes no sense. Would you have heard the bell ring at least? I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Although... Okay, if the piano was like in its own practice room, that maybe it would, the bell would have been hard to hear, but I don't think a piano can oversound, or overpower the sound of a school bell on its own. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Oh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I've just been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, it must require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Figure skating pose. You should play f something for us sometime. Ah, that's... Excuse me, Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case... I won't let you down. Monica smiles sweetly. Alright. So. Ah, blah, blah. Maybe I'm just paranoid at this point because the game has actually taken the creepy turn now. And I. This is, at of all points, to cast suspicion. This would be the time to do it. But not, Monica is somehow the reason for all of this. Or, like, the main, I guess, antagonistic force behind this. Somehow. I don't know how yet. I just have that feeling in my bones. I'm gonna feel really bad later if it turns out that I'm wrong. Monica sat miles sweetly. I didn't mean any, pr any pressure or anything like that. Aha, uh -huh, don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, it's probably going to be a requiem or something. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose not to bring anything up that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off to the closet that I'm right in front of now. Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some more time together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Okay, can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Ah! I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Does that count as roll credits? Don't worry about it. It's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah. It is really off-putting that she's being so, like, direct into the social socializing. But I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls the copy of her book out of her bag. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Ooh, is this gonna get super dark this time? That would be nice. Or interesting, I guess. Not necessarily nice. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf with a kind of filter inside. Or the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Hands me the water pitcher and fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. I'm sorry if I... Well, I probably didn't sound very interested the first time, despite 
it being new and all that, and actually wondering what was gonna happen, but there's not much pizzazz to my reading on these, like, second rounds of stuff that we've already seen here. I simply watch her movements. Really contract or contracts. Why do I always do that? Contrasts her speaking and mannerisms, especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. May I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. She heads out of the classroom. Oh, that is that didn't go the way I thought Monica was going to be like, -da 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 -da, where are you guys going? And then suddenly, you know, the background was going to get staticky and then it was going to, you know, superimpose someone's face over my decision-making screen again. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make some tea. Oh, okay. Figure skating pose. Sorry for the misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't. Ten minutes is a long time for something like that. I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Oh, no. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start... I like that the uh, music sounds further away because we're in the hallway. Like, for some reason, it's that room that's generating it. That's interesting. Ha ha. Ha ha. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. That was supposed to be breathing? <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. This is not gonna be pretty. Yuri? Well, drat. My suspicion about that was confirmed. Yeah? Okay, that was neat. <sighs> it's like they don't want you to discover things that you shouldn't. Like, like whatever is making this happen doesn't like you discovering the... But it's, all, it's weird. And don't listen to me, I'm rambling about stuff because I'm trying to understand it. <laughs> <laughs> and not, my thoughts aren't complete yet, so, so, yeah, thanks for waiting. Do you like oolong tea? Again, not really a tea person. Very well. Sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You know, I thought about this earlier, too. And I'm probably just gonna keep scrolling by the text while I talk so, until I get to something different. But the interesting thing about the bad things that happen in this game is that, a, is that the major one that happened at the beginning of the recording last time, you know, with Sayori, that was, um, obviously that would be traumatic for the player character, as well as the player themselves, well, as traumatic as a game can be for somebody. And the consequences of that would really weigh heavily on both of them. But you're the player is the only one who really has to deal with that because the game resets itself. And the character doesn't know what happened. He doesn't even know that Sayori was a thing. It's interesting and I can't and obviously well not obviously, I think that this is probably going to play into whatever is gonna happen later. And, I don't know, it's an interesting element that I thought of a while ago. It's f I got sidetracked by making sure that I wasn't skipping over some kind of new dialogue. It's still the same. 
it's an interesting element to like the meta narrative that they're trying to incorporate into this. And I think it's neat. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. Yeah, trying to express herself more. Turns out it's not a very hard thing for me to do. Well, it's just you around anyway. Yeah, we've been through this before. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch her pour a cup of tea for each of us. I have another request. Can we sit on the floor today? Because of her bad posture, if we recall. It's a little bit easier on my back. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Uh, my posture, right? I'm always hunched over like that while reading. Yes. I have terrible posture. You know, honestly, I have terrible posture in general. I am almost never standing up straight or sitting up straight or anything like that. So, that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book, retrieve the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. Oh, this this part was weird the first time. <laughs> It'll go well with the tea. Sit so, up. Teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position except this time. Our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Oh man, shoulder contact. They grow up so fast. I'm sorry I couldn't think of anything different to say. Yuri is al was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand, and it's not holding the book. I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus, because now I'm worried about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Ugh. I hasn't noticed a th single thing. Where's her intense expression? Faded away. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. Fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book and finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's... I won't take any. Well... I don't want to smudge the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. 